Like with Trump, same thing with Trump. I was watching Trump and I, I, I turned off the volume and I just saw his mouth. It's very tiny. Very big head. Yeah. This is a very good show. Very good show. Shannon Sharp. One of my favorite shows that I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, sh uh, Club Shasha. <laughs> <laughs> Very good show, Club Shawshank, whatever you call it. I've watched millions and millions of shows, and this one is perfect, perfect. I don't watch a lot of black shows, but this one, better than Jimmy Kimmel, better than any other Joe Rogan, there are pieces of shit, but this one is top. <laughs> one of the greatest, I love this show, I watch it all the time. I think I'll get more views than Cat Williams. <laughs> so did you stumble upon, upon like, you like, did you do you stumble upon them or do you just try and practice? I just stumble. I'll look at stuff and I'll go, hmm. I'll look and say, I think I could do this, dude. You know what I mean? I'll right. just look and go, that might be a good one. Trump, who doesn't want to have a Trump? Right. And 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 to do Trump, I'll do Trump in front of like Republican audiences. Right. It's neutralizing because I'm not hating him or I'm just saying, man, Trump makes me laugh. Right. You know, Trump. The you know Trump has a ceiling of intelligence. When he hits his ceiling, he goes high school on you. Right. You know, if you bring up something, Donald, let me tell you something, Donald. You don't understand the, the oil crisis in 1978. It was, uh, um, prices of oil were $10 a barrel and tr Trump would go, and then Trump don't notice it. He'd be like, this guy's a piece of shit. You always, he's trying to be a tough guy. I don't, I never liked you. Your <laughs> wife's a crisis. <laughs> Your wife's a crisis. You're a piece of shit. I know oil, lots of oil. Yeah. Olive oil, vegetable oil. <laughs> <laughs> so he would, you know, yeah. so I just started to get it and I started getting, I started watching him more and he's New York. He's from New York. Right. So when he goes, I talk to him, there's that accent. I say, right. I hear that. I talked to him the other day. So he's still got to put the New York thing in right. there. So there's little nuances I catch. How, how important are the mannerisms? Because when you do Steve Harvey, you do all of his mannerisms. Yeah. When you do Trump, you do the mannerisms. Yeah. You've really honed in on that aspect. Yeah, of you it. have to, you have to, ma you, mannerisms count because it's the person you're being the person. It's Correct. like as an actor, you're being the person. Like if you prior, shit, goddamn, you niggas is crazy, Jack. I love your show, shit. I'm watching that shit like a motherfucker, Jack. Yeah. I bet you get a lot of white bitches, don't you, Jack? Yeah. Shit, Dan Shaw, my motherfucker, where's the coke? No, yeah. but you know, I, I, Richard was this guy. Yeah, he was. Richard was shit, goddamn. He was that guy right. doing this and the hands. So you just can't, I mean, Cosby was like, you see, when I worked for Cosby, by the way, I worked for Cosby for six months. I was audience coordinator for his second sitcom on CBS. Okay. And so I was there when his son was killed. Okay. I was there. I lived in Queens and it was Kaufman Astoria Studios where they shot. It's right next door to Sesame Street. Okay. You remember that famous song? Can you tell me how to get? Yes. How to get to Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. Just to see Shannon Sharp know Sesame Street. I do. Like, you would think of Everybody grew like up him. on Sesame Street. Of course, Street. Like of course. <laughs> I can just see you singing. Can you tell me how to get, <laughs> how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> Come and. Come and call singing. I want to see a big dude singing. <laughs> Come and play. Everything's A okay. <laughs> I love Sesame Street, man. I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. Sesame Street's my favorite. My grandmother said, what'd she say? <laughs> if you don't know how to get to Sesame Street, I'm going to show your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, so when I was there, I remember to watch Cosby every to watch him every Thursday, mm -hmm. like to do the sitcom with Dougie Doug, Madeline Kahn. I was there. I was introduced. I would introduce Felicia Rashad. I was the audience coordinator. Right. But I had to tell jokes to 250 people right. for eight hours. Right. Eight hours. I'm just talking. I had to be clean. No singing, no nothing. You ask a question, but you got to keep joking. Right. When the lights come on, you show them talk. Oh, man. And I remember. One day, um, I walked into Cosby's office because you could just walk in and say, what's up? So I was like, hey, Dr. Cosby, how you doing? You know, he's like, hey. And he had the cigar. I'm not bullshitting you. It was the Cosby-esque. Yeah. And he goes, hey, how you doing, man? How you, you know, and I said, hey, can you give me some advice? I'm doing comedy four years. I said, can you right. give me some advice on, you know, on comedy? I didn't know what right. to say to him. He goes, and I'm not bull. He goes, writing. You got to write, son. You got to put it on the paper. Writing is the backbone. Oh, and I, that's him. He's, right. and you got to see, and Sinbad, boy, that's the bad. He loves Sinbad. First right. of all, Sinbad is recovering. Yeah, yeah, to you. Sinbad's recovering. Yeah. 
And I hope you can Listen, get him on here because yes. he is, we cannot forget Sinbad. Mm -hmm. Sinbad is like, for real, like one of the greatest comedians that we, we tend to ignore. Right. One of the greatest, some of the greatest HBO specials. Mm -hmm. Sinbad, thank you for, he's recovering, he's getting better, yes. he's speaking well. But yeah, but that's how I imitated people. If I'm around you long enough, right. I can start doing you. Right. Like, one, of, a, a comic, one of my comic colleagues that I started imitating was Dion Cole. Really? De oh, yeah. Dion Cole, when we were in Chicago, he'd be like, yo, man, you sound just like me. I would do <laughs> Dion, yo, you ever understand, man, how you do that shit? <laughs> so, I started, so I started imitating my friends so I could just, if I hear it and it's in my range, I go, I think I can do it. You know what right. I'm saying? So that's where, yeah. The Trump sneakers. Trump is selling sneakers. <laughs> you get a pair? Black people love sneakers. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I released it because I'm a genius. I released it during Black History Month. Perfect month for black people. <laughs> I didn't get the sneakers. But they weren't that bad looking. I go no. front. Right. They were they just painted them. They were just simple. I've had shoe sneakers like that, right. but they just painted them as Trump pushing right. them. I don't even think they're made. I think they're pre-ordered. I don't think they're even completed. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think it's bullshit. Did you get some? No. No, I did not. Better than your sneakers, Shasha. <laughs> Way better. So what do you think his chances are winning? I think they're... He's really trying to do something that only Grover Cleveland has ever done. Hold the office, lose the office, uh, win it back. Uh, sort of like Michael Jordan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think he might win it. I, he, I Listen, man, he won the first time we thought, hell no. He no chance. Win. And he he might he might win. Look at He has 8,000 felonies. 8,000 felonies. And this motherfucker has a chance. I think Biden just... Right, he just got the Democratic yes. nod. Yes, I don't even know if he knows, but he, he got. The, <laughs> I got the nod. Come on. Yeah, I got the nod. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna <laughs> estimate. I don't think they're. I don't think people are <laughs> underestimating former President Trump like they did in 2016 because they, he's held the office, so you know he's capable of holding it again. And the thing about Trump is he never stays out of the public. He's always still connecting to it, whether it's some bullshit. He's always in their presence. Mm -hmm. Trump is always present. Right. I think about Trump. I'll say, what is Trump doing right now? Right. I'll think about Trump. And he's just he's a businessman. He's all about being in front of people. He wants you to say his name. That's one thing about business people. They want you, to, whether it's bad or good, just say my name. Right. Trump. I don't give a damn if you hate me, but the one thing Trump has a weakness of, it, of is not paying attention to him. If you're indifferent, that's his weakness. But if you go, fuck you, Trump, he's like, these are great people. <laughs> yeah. He's like Thanos. Yeah. The more you hate him, the stronger he gets. You right. know what I'm saying? So I, he might have, he might win it. I don't know. You know how this country right. gets? Of course. You know when the good old boys go, God damn, me. We're going to make you, he did it. We're going to make it great again. He's like, you got to make this goddamn good and get great again. But you said Denzel. You like to see Denzel run for president. <laughs> you think Denzel will make a great president? Run for president. God, I can see him. All right. All right. So we're going to run for president, right? Huh? The economy. What are we going to do with the economy? Huh? Yeah. We're going to lower it. <laughs> we'll lower the taxes. We're going to lower what? The taxes. All right. Yeah. We're going to lower the tax. What else are we going to do? Gun control. Right? Yeah. Gun <laughs> I can see Denzel running for president. <laughs> the Rock. Steph Curry even mentioned the other morning. I think the other morning he was on a, a, a morning talk show and he was talking about potentially once his career is over. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. He said, maybe not the president, but politics, because he I wants to see him as an alderman. What? Steph is an alderman, what? not a senator. Oh, good. Senator Curry. Yeah, I could see him first as like an alder, you know, just like a, a councilman, like a city a local, council. local guy first. Uh, you, you think he's going to go for Senate? Why not? No, no. Because no. you look at look at I'm Arnold not and uh, 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 who's that? Arnold went for governor, yeah. Clint, Clint Eastwood, Jesse Ventura. Oh, that's on Jesse the Body Franken. Ventura. That's right. I was governor. I remember the time I was governor. See, I could yeah. kind of do him, yeah. yeah. And Arnold's like, yeah, I, of course, I had, I wanted to be president, but I wasn't born here. Right. But I could have, I could have done anything. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> no. Shannon Sharp, this is a good show. I like you work hard. You work hard. Your muscles look perfect. I'm not as good as mine at the time, but it's like, I'm still, I'm like 75. Uh, and look at me. My muscles are better than yours. I don't know. It's weird. What about The Rock? 
We think rock because rock. rock rock has universal appeal. I mean, they, he does. And, and, but everybody here loves him. He's so positive. He God, is. I feel like he's gonna snap one day. My because the rock is always positive. I just want to tell you guys, I'm very happy. Um, my vodka's doing really well, and uh, the people, all the people around here, have been very positive to me. He's very, very, very positive. positive. I, he could rock it definitely run. I mean, when you're like that much, would you run? How about you? Ooh, dude. You wouldn't run for something? <laughs> see, sports, Shannon, see, come here's on. the thing, no, Godfrey. Sports <laughs> journalists, they trying to find stories for sports. Them investigative yeah. and the political journalists, yeah. they going back and talking to people. Oh, shit. They dig it. See, yeah. And I ain't got no skeletons in the closet. I got a graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> Leave that alone. <laughs> Leave that alone. Leave so it. you wouldn't run for Ooh, shit, huh? Nah. I walk Can't bricks, you but I can't see your run. picture? Mm -mm. Political picture, like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, hell no. Nah. <laughs> leave well enough for law, but leave the past in the past. I'm black did. and mild. Come on, <laughs> vote for me, Shannon Sharp. What about Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers, you know, he might be on the ticket with uh Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Come on, man, Aaron Rodgers. I don't, I don't know, Aaron. That's, he's not that if he goes with Robert Kennedy Jr. runs with Aaron Rodgers, this shit ain't gonna work. It's not going to work. Aaron Rodgers is already up in boiling, right? It's the people, he's been saying a lot of crazy shit, yeah. which is his business. Right. I love Aaron Rodgers, but, you know, he's been saying too much. I don't think he's going to win. I, see, I think once you run for a politician, then all your, they start to get bullshit on you. They yeah. start to, you know what I mean? Yeah. They start doing bullshit on you. They start calling, oh, you did this back in 19, yeah, fuck yeah. all that. Yeah. I, I'm not doing that shit. See? I would never do that And shit. now you're talking about you want me to I run. would never run. Hell no. Nah. Not your damn mind. What's your favorite impression to do? Of all the impressions that you can do, God, um, what's your favorite? Your, what's your most favorite to do? Trump is very fun. Trump is fun because he's so polarizing. Um, um, Statham, Jason Statham, I like to do. Really? Yeah, I like. I did Statham for Statham on YouTube. It's on. I was on this show, Opie and Jim, uh, uh, Opie and Jim, before it was Opie and Anthony, Opie and Jim Norton, and I did. Jason Statham was on the show, and I did it for him. So I, I like doing Jason Statham. What what do you think? He liked it. He's like, wow, you do me better than me. That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, son. Yeah, yeah you, did 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 you did it. You did it. You did it. He's like, I like Shannon Sharp. I like watching uh, Club Shay Shay. It's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, bitch, what? Yeah, come get some. So, I don't know why I did that. So, <laughs> like, when I was growing up, the, 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 the master of impersonation was Rich Little. Was Rich Little. Nobody, I mean, yeah. there was not, I mean, he just like, yes, and he just go in. Did hundreds of them. Yes. Yeah. Did you study Rich? I, I watched him on a lot of TV shows, and he would do, like, a lot of presidents and yes. stuff like that. And I did a show with him. During COVID in Vegas, I, he was right before me. He's 82 at the mm -hmm. time, and he was doing his impersonations, but old school impersonations yeah, yeah. for the older crowd. Yeah. But yeah, I watched Rich do it. You know, I watched him do it because we would always look for, he was the only guy really doing it. Yes. But also Frank Gorshin, the guy who played the Riddler on Batman, okay. was a good impersonator. Mm -hmm. Um, George Kirby, see, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a history buff in comedy. George Kirby, black comedian from Chicago. Could imitate. He could sing like, um, what's her name? Uh, Ella Fitzgerald. Okay. He could switch his voice. George Kirby, underrated comedian from the past. But yeah, I would watch a lot of those guys. Yeah. I do Trump, Trump support. I do, I do the South. Right. Trump support. And I'm talking right. about right. fucking hillbilly motherfuckers. You know, you, you're from the South. Right. Of course I am. You've seen them Southerners, the mouth don't move. What yeah. t-shirt right now? <laughs> Man, <that> hell, <laughs> you and he dying right there. Where they fucking them up. Right. Yeah, they fuck with me, but right. it depends on how you, it depends on how you navigate the joke. Right. You know, I never change. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.